I'm ready to set up the iPad. So I charged the iPad up to now 76%. So first we have to do select the language. I select Norwegian. Then I select the the other yeah, country is selected. It's Norway. It will uh, give the then I have to select the uh, oh. I have to select my Wi-Fi network and now I will enter the password and connect to the Wi-Fi it says it can take some few minutes to activate the iPad and then we activate like positioning services I can uh, configure the touch ID now so I'll scan my thumb oops I was pressing the button I'm just going to put the thumb on the touch ID several times move the finger it says to move the finger around so it gets good fingerprint then I just uh, grip try to catch the edges of the fingerprint so I'll try to catch the edges here okay then it says finished touch ID is ready Then I can enter a code. Yeah, I will select a, a four digit code first. There, and I have to enter the code. Then we have uh, different uh, selections. We have a uh, have uh, <clears throat> uh, we have a backup from the you can uh, recreate the iPad from an iCloud backup or from an iTunes security backup which is what I have or if you don't have a iPad from before you can configure it as a new iPad or you can transfer data from an Android device so I will um, uh, yeah, I will use my iTunes backup that I made from my old iPad. So now I have to connect the iPad to the Mac and transfer the backup. So I connected the iPad to the Mac and well, now iTunes says I just could not connect to the iPad because it's locked with a passcode. So now I have to enter the passcode on the iPad. And then it asks, do you want to recognize the machine? And I take accept. And I click try again in the screen. Okay. So now the screen says, Welcome to your new iPad. Restore from this backup, which was Tommy's iPad. Take continue. And now it's working on restoring my old iPad backup. Well, the backup it wasn't old; it was taken today, but it uh, restores it into the new iPad. Okay. Then it says the settings have been restored. 
after it restarts. Okay, so now the iPad uh, restarts. Okay, then there is a passcode again. Just have to press and then click try again in iTunes. Yeah. yeah, then I'll wait for the iPad. It, you see here it has progress bar, so we have to wait until this is finished. And then we can possibly update to a newer software version. 11.03 it says it's available, but I don't know what version we have, but it's probably less than that. I think the 11.1 .1 is coming out soon, which will resolve some of the battery issues. Okay, and then the iPad says update, up, updating finished, and I click continue. And it says select a Wi Fi network. Okay, I have to enter the Wi Fi password again like this and connect and I have to enter my Apple ID password okay now I have to enter the code that is on the screen I have to enter that on my iPad then it says updating iCloud settings here there are some terms which I agree I don't care to read them just I can click done on on the screen it says updating iCloud settings on the iPad. It finally finished updating the iCloud settings. Now it says some kind of iPad analysis. I don't want to share my information with Apple. So I press not participate. Then it says welcome to iPad, get started. So the iPad is uh, updating some apps, I think. And uh, Mac, it says your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new iPad. So, yeah. Regarding this update, okay. I'll check on this on the new iPad which version I have. I have 10.3.2 yeah that's pretty old so um, yeah but I want to wait until these apps have been updated before I update the version okay I waited a few minutes and now the iPad has updated all the apps since I have version 10 point something on the iPad, I want to update to version 11 to get the new functionality. So I press download and update on the Mac. And there's a new features here yeah, probably. Enter the passcode again on the Mac. And uh, on the iPad I mean okay so now it says iTunes is downloading a software update for this iPad and we'll install it when the download is complete so now we just have to wait for the download and then the installation will automatically start after quite a long time the iPad says I have to enter my code again and then it says the update is finished 
blah 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 there are some steps left continue I have to have the password for my Apple ID there updating iCloud settings which took quite some time last time okay then iPad analysis I don't want to share with Apple I have to press this thing uh, till okay access to dock from everywhere yeah that's the new with uh, with iPad yeah you can see here it has a dock down here so I press continue okay you can you can switch between uh, the apps you've used with this motion from the bottom and then welcome so this is the newest software version now I have version 11.03 then when I'm finished I usually go into the iPad which is yeah now it says iPad fifth generation and then I usually take a backup. So now I've uh, transferred the backup from my old iPad to my new iPad. I have updated to iOS 11.0.3 and I've taken a backup of my new iPad. So now I'm finished with setting up my new iPad.